Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. Lock is a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook. Holy Mother Church continues to give us the book of Genesis and the story of Noah to help us to come to know the covenants that God makes with us. So today we're going to focus on the first reading from Genesis chapter 9. We hear in the scriptures, Noah left the ark with his wife and his sons and his sons' wives and offered a burnt offering to the Lord. God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. The fear and dread of you shall rest on every animal of the earth and on every bird of the air, on everything that creeps on the ground and on all the fish of the sea. Into your hand they are delivered. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. And just as I gave you the green plants, I give you everything. Only you shall not eat flesh with its life, that is, its blood. For your own lifeblood I will surely require a reckoning. From every animal I will require it, and from human beings, each one for the blood of another. I will require a reckoning for human life. Whoever sheds the blood of a human, by a human shall that person's blood be shed. For in his own image God made humanity. And you, be fruitful and multiply, abound on the earth and multiply in it. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, As for me, I am establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the domestic animals, and every animal of the earth with you, as many as came out of the ark. I establish my covenant with you that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of a flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. God said, This is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my bow in the clouds and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends, in this passage, we hear of the covenant that God makes with Noah. When God makes a covenant, he never breaks it. This is more than a promise. It's an unbreakable bond, an agreement that indeed the whole world would not see a flood again. And while parts of the world may deal with flooding at times due to global warming or perhaps other issues, God's covenant with Noah shows that he has once again solidified his relationship with his people. And that because of God's mercy, he shows his unconditional love for us. And the beautiful symbol of the rainbow, which many other organizations have adopted. But here, the beautiful bow in the sky filled with the many colors. If you ever head down to Niagara Falls, you might see even in the midst, often you'll see a beautiful rainbow. And young and young at heart love looking at rainbows seeing the beautiful colors, red and green, orange and blue. Again, showing some of the majesty and radiance of God who can create such things in creation to make us see just a small reflection of his majesty, his love, and his greatness over us. This covenant with Noah brings us hope. For again, when God makes a promise, he never breaks that promise. While many times I make promises to God, you may make promises to God, and it's easy for us to break. Thankfully, God never breaks his promises. We can always count on him. He is a God who never lets us down, who never goes back on his word. Jesus truly is the way, the truth, and the life. And when God speaks, it brings life. When God speaks, it brings light. When God speaks, it brings hope. And so in this passage, I pray that not just myself, but each of us listening to this podcast will hear the hope and the promise of a second chance that God gives to Noah and to his descendants. 
God promises that same thing to us, friends. And so may we ask God to remember us, which means that God will shower his blessings upon us each and every day of our lives. And many cultures and peoples, there are different ways of saying it. In Italian, I love to say cindani, which means, you know, a hundred years. In other words, may you live a long life. May God's blessings be upon you. Let us celebrate the blessings that we receive right now in the middle of February as we listen to this podcast and thanksgiving for all that God gives to us. Indeed, God can never be outdone in generosity. And so with thanks, we praise your name, O God. For God's Playbook, I'm Father Rico. God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Buzzsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.